Taylor Small Rabbit Gang, in this video, I'm gonna teach you what I just learned that I'm immediately making this video after learning this. And it's about marketing and it, it all makes sense like how every single music artist stays relevant, the songs keep going top 10, how everything just makes the most sense and you're gonna be able to utilize this information in order to sonic boom for yourself so we're able to actually create a sonic boom with your music marketing to take a song sonic boom it and get it heard by tens of millions of people and that's what we're gonna talk about in this video today because i actually learned something in this book you can see i just bookmarked it i was sitting on the toilet Ew. that's when i read books right don't waste the time on your phone reading books and i came to this part and i went oh my i have to make a video about this oh my god i love books i prefer audio books but uh sitting on a toilet. And by the way, if you want to get this book, I'll put a link below to it. Right. Uh, it's called Cumulative Advantage. And the book is basically tells you how things have an advantage over other things, how people have advantages over other people and why those things happen, why something blows up when something else that's very similar doesn't. And that's why I'm reading this and I'm, I'm translating it into music. It's actually for business. I'm translating it into music business. Yeah. For me, I learn, I teach it to you. So I'll put a link below for this. Anyway, just so you realize why this book can be applied to this video so you can learn from it as well. You're like, book, I hate books, whatever. Let's get into it. So basically this, this part that I just came across I'm actually gonna read story time with Rob. I just need a fireplace behind me for that. So quick rundown, as soon as I tell you what this is, you're gonna go, oh wow, like I knew that, but I didn't know that. So basically, this is information that you think in your head that is true, but you don't know it until you see statistics on it and you go, that will work. Okay, I'm definitely doing that. Come on, man. Like it'll be the thing that crosses you over the line to be like, oh, I'm definitely doing that kind of marketing because it's gonna work for me. And again, major artists do this all the time. So what happened is, is a lot of people think that when you do something such as influencer marketing where you hire somebody or you have friends post stuff. People think that songs move person to person and the network goes up and that's what eventually causes a network effect that blows a song up, right? Yeah. And while that may be true, it happens at such a slow pace because you know, it's one person to one person. And this is what's interesting. Basically, it showed that that is, you know, it's such a slow process, Bro. but compared to exactly what every major artist does as soon as a new single releases, uh, when they pull all of the resources together to do this. And before I say this, you can do this too and I'm gonna give you examples in this video of how other people do it right but uh, we're gonna start with how it works with like major artists because I think that's a good play all right so let me just let me read this for you really quick all right so real quick all right so you might imagine that an idea spreads through a network and looks like a spider web and that's what we usually think right one person shares it then a friend shares it then somebody from a new network shares it and so on and so on like that's what we think right and that's true to a degree right but that's not what Steve discovered at all and Steve is the creator of Buzz Sumo which you know I've known about Buzz a huge marketing company wow. okay like or like tons of data, big company, all right? So, but that's not what Steve discovered at all. Through complex statistical analysis, he could show that an idea catches on when a number of powerful social media accounts all post about it at the same time. And that's how I always teach you how to do marketing. You do everything in one blast. And my marketing masterclass is, that's the stuff I actually, I've actually been telling you to do. Bro. I'll put a link below for those. But what happens is you do it at the same time, okay? And as I say in my masterclasses, it's because everybody seems to be talking about you at the same time. If you pay an influencer last week, you get a little bit of movement, but then nobody's talking about you, right? Then you pay one this week, only a little bit, only a little bit. Let's say you pay 10 over the course of 10 weeks. It's nowhere near as powerful as doing them all at the same time, right? That's part of it. Just take that into account because you may not have ever thought of that. It feels like everybody's talking about you at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So an idea catches on when a number of powerful social media accounts all post about it at the same time. This creates what I've called a sonic boom in my marketing workshops and lectures. And this is a primary strategy to achieve launch velocity for an idea, or in our case, a song. Don't worry, not much more reading to go here, all right? Steve explained that when more than one powerful trusted influencer shares content, the number of resulting social media shares goes up. And I'm gonna show you the chart in a minute because it's like, whoa, okay, hold on, All right? Don't worry, we're gonna, we're gonna get out of the read and get into some pitches, okay? A validation effect of some kind occurs. If one influential person or company posts about your idea, okay. But if people are seeing it everywhere, then it must be something important. Psychologically, they think that, okay? The trust in the content is secured and the idea is shared. So it's basically like not only one cosign, but getting cosigns from tons of different people at the same time okay so that is the key to it it's a sonic boom it's like all this builds up like ooh, sonic boom right you know how you used to do it sonic boom. you know like mega man when he charged this like he got the orgasm okay cut that out the video no <laughs> 
Okay, anyway. So really, this book shows you all the ways of actually going through all of this. And in this circumstance for here, initial advantage would be kind of like the beginning of the propulsion for your song. But I think that, and really it's about creating the idea or having the idea for the business that actually sets itself apart in the market. And oh. it's kind of niched and it makes sense and it gives you an advantage over other people. So to me, this is like your song. Is your song good enough? That's your initial advantage. Your song is so good. That's your advantage over other people in the market, right? If it's better than other top songs right now, you have an advantage. But it doesn't matter if nobody sees it. Woo! So then you have the scene. It's like basically the, the timing, when the timing is right, when everything would just be like the perfect time to release it, timing is massively important. Not gonna go too deep into that. And then what happens is if you can get a sonic boom yes, at the right time for a song that's good or in business for a business that's good, then we can actually do this. Then it goes up and then you keep it consistent. As I always tell you, momentum is everything after up there. It's just consistency after that, just keeping that momentum. He ain't lying. So basically, you know, this book kind of says everything that we kind of know, but it puts it into a business perspective and then it shows all the businesses and how this works. So just, you're, reiterates what we already know, but now it like gives it the proof and the facts. So let's talk about how you can utilize this as a music artist. First of all, think about why it always works for major artists when they release a song and then this person tweets about it, this person tweets about it, that person tweets about it. Number one, the influencer themselves, the larger artists say Justin Bieber, they're already from Justin Bieber, right? They're already gonna have that boom. Bro. And then when other people who are also influencers also tweet or talk about that song, it or not tweet, you know, on Instagram post, they talk about it in their story, whatever it is, they automatically give it an extra boom because it's it's a cosign and the way that you're able to utilize this as a music artist is by doing the influencer marketing and the way that you are able to utilize this as a music artist is by doing the influencer marketing that you've heard about getting influential pages to post about you getting blogs to post about you right like think about when there was a time when if you get your stuff right on world star it's gone so imagine you have a world star you have a bunch of bigger influencers with 100k plus or you can get somebody with a ton of followers to really you know say something about your song or you get somebody huge on tiktok we're able to hire tiktok influencers now to really get Get a song to go and this right here is proof of that that this works this is what a sonic boom is think about how many artists have blown up off of tiktok or a song that's blown up off of tiktok because they got the right influencers to do the thing for the right song gave it the credibility and it shares all right which reminds me let me go back to this really quick i'm glad i did not forget to show you this because this is vital to understanding exactly why this works okay so what happens is this as more influential people share an idea the number of social shares and reposts grows exponentially like a drop of oil spreading over a puddle of water oh. posts that were shared by two influencers had 30 percent more shares than a post that was shared by a single influencer. Think about that. 30% more because instead of one person, two people. Okay. So here's what happens. Posts that were shared by three powerful people receive more than a hundred percent more shares. What are you saying? That's just one additional influencer at the same time. Okay. Think about that. Two to three, right? One not strong enough. Two is more powerful. Three is you're getting the additional people all at the same time. Oh, posts that were shared by five people receive nearly 300% more shares. Huh? Five seem to be the magic number for critical mass. If you can get as few as five relevant and influential accounts spreading one idea, you're on your way towards creating a sonic boom. That's what this whole video is about, to teach you that, to help you understand the significance of that right there. If you can get as few as five accounts, bigger accounts. So what this tells us is, number one, save up our money for those five. Number two, choose the right five, okay? Number three, have the right song. Number four, do it at the right time. Number five, take into account um, all of the other things that go into it, such as, uh, what the thumbnail is of the video they post, what the content is that they're promoting, what the bio says, if they're doing TikToks, make sure the TikTok is a challenge. All these things come into play. And TikTok influencers are not uh, that hard to get a hold of. Actually, I have um, a massive spreadsheet of all the tic like all the TikTok influencers as well as their pricing Bro. that my team actually uses that we have. And I have that, I can give you guys that as well, okay? So I'll put a link to that below all because right. that'll save you a thousand hours of time, okay? I get to hire like a full-time person to create that and go through it. So, and you can get that, I give it to you. I share open access with the one that I actually currently use and it updates and you could just have access to it okay oh, i mean i pushed myself way out the damn frame here come on now dog all right, so real quick again, just look at this. Like one, that's a big difference, right? Now, of course, it's gonna cost you five times as much, but just save up five times longer. Have five times more time to make the best song, okay? It just makes the most sense. And I've always been saying this, right? I've been saying it, but I've even been talking about doing it with micro-influencers in my, in my marketing masterclasses. And by the way, I'll put my marketing masterclasses below because I have tons of marketing masterclasses and they come with the TikTok influencers. And actually that list of TikTok influencers also comes with Instagram influencers and influencers across all other stuff, as well as across different niches from dancing oh. to hip hop oh. to other, other music. 
music to singers. It's just all kinds of stuff across the board, okay? Anyway, and then on a last point, let's talk about this. Think about how many artists blow up as soon as one artist co-signs it, like a big artist co-signs it. Because what happens is that initial influencer will co-sign a song, go, yo, I like this, they're big, they talk about it. And what happens is the other influencers talk about it. So one, two, maybe three, four, five, post about it because they then heard it because the bigger one did, okay? Yes, you force sir. the hand of people that have specific circles of influence. Like you don't do it all in the same circle of influence, right? You do it in different circles of influence at the same time that kind of cross over, which is gonna happen anyway in hip hop. Yeah. Like for example, and this is just a really large, broad example, but if I were to get Drake to post it, not only would I want Drake to post it, I want somebody with a different sound in music to also post it, right? And like, so I'd have, let's be funny and say, I want a Drake to post it, but I'd also want like a Pusha T to post it. But I also <laughs> want, you know, I mean, you'd want everybody to post the damn song. Then you also have like Meg the Stallion post it. And then you have like another a random art. You see what I'm saying? But, but it's like, okay, get the females. You get more of the females that like the singing artist, but then also have other people. Then you have somebody who does a different kind of hip hop. Then you can even do something like, you know, like Run the Jewels or something, or you want Kendrick or J. Cole. Like they're all kind of in their own little box. But if you did it all at the same time, now this is an example because that's, you ain't gonna get them to post. And if you can, God bless you, my son. Good job. <laughs> Hallelujah. You can't get an amen. Women, 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 women. <laughs> I am delivered! But you gotta think about this from the perspective of TikTok influencers. If you think about TikTok influencers huh. in different niches that have kind of a crossover with each other, meaning they have similar fan bases who will see you more than once at the same time if they post about it. Like one does dancing, one does music, one does comedy. You get what I'm saying? And you hit them all at the same time, it's gonna give you this propulsion, you know, not, not down, it's gonna give you this propulsion to get you to the sonic boom point, okay? And I'm gonna leave you with this so you don't get stranded. After you do the uh, initial boost up and you have those five people, that's just gonna be where it begins because it always comes back to momentum and keeping everything going because you have to then reach up as soon as you get the sonic boom the next part was reach up because you have to, as soon as it booms you have to like you know it's like it's like you jump from the ground to the pole right to do a pull up and that sonic boom is like yeah like halfway up the damn pole and then that reach up is like the uh, you know what i'm saying no and then once you over it then you're like uh you know what i'm saying then you're like i'm on top that's oh, that's how i'm like thinking of it right so that's kind of what you have to do and it'll work every single time no matter what because that is the process that is going to blow up every artist and it's actually the process that blows up every artist one artist shouts out their stuff the, the other artist talks about it, the other artist talks about it, boom suddenly the artist is everywhere like damn this person just blew up right people start recognizing their talent and that could be you that will be you say it to yourself it will be me manifest that all right okay say the good the affirmations to yourself man you gotta do it all day look at I, right here i am a money magnet picture of a money man like bro sitting next to me all day you gotta manifest this I'm telling you, it works, trust me. So, just gotta keep it on your mind all day. It's right next to me, right? Your money next to you all day. Touch touch the money, feel the money. It's real, smell the money, be the money, or whatever you wanna get. You know what I'm saying? Cause you need, I believe, you know, you gotta get some money to invest into the influencers, right? That's what I'm looking at. Give me, let's, let's get this money and become a money magnet so I can invest into my career and teach you guys more. All right, anyway, that I'm gonna leave you with that. Enough talking, this is all off the top of my head. I was just very excited when I read that, hopped up off the toilet and came in here and told you about this because, I mean, I'm learning a lot from this book and I wanna teach you what I did because I, you know, take take business books and I apply them into music. And that's a big thing that I do because I've read over 600 books now God and implement that knowledge into your, into your mind so you absorb that knowledge, all right? Smart rapper, come on now. Hit me with a subscribe. What I'm gonna do below is I'm gonna give you the uh, link to the marketing master classes, okay? And those are gonna come with the TikTok influencers and everything else like that. Uh, I'm gonna lead you straight to it so you guys can, and girls can check that out. All you hustlers out there, a lot of what I'm seeing in this is a lot of what, of what I talked about even at a lower level because even if you, after you high level, you could do the low level stuff or you could start with the low level stuff which is as cheap as like 100 bucks a month of getting these influencers, how to get them, what to say, that's all in the master classes, as well as hundreds of marketing ideas that you can use aside from that to propel yourself. You put together the right ones for you and your song and boom, okay? So all anyway, right. I'm Rob Level. This is Smart Rapper. I know you just got smart. You got to wait at the end here. Either way, keep hustling, gang. I hope you get to utilize this one day. Bye, people. Magic number, all right? Keep hustling. And I'll see you at the top. Check those links below. Mm. They be asking me like, Rob, how'd you make it high? Chasing music as a job without suicide. I'm old, it made the money make me blind Cause all I see is pain when I'm inside Then they say to me like, Rob, so your jack go high